I'm thankful he said no because I wouldn't have wanted a half-assed husband. I do. I love you. I knew that I wanted you in my life. Absolutely. Bartiz. I do not. Our relationship about halfway through completely changed. Um, I told him I was gonna say no um, two weeks into being in Dallas and he said, please give me another chance. I wanna turn things around. Both answers were a possibility on wedding day. And I felt that for both of us. Nancy told me straight up a week before the wedding that she was gonna say no to me. And that kind of like scared me a little bit and encouraged me to remind myself who I fell in love with in the pods. The last two weeks leading up to the wedding, it was the we, the us, the future, the journey, our, you know, our kids, our, all these things that was in the future. So our conversations and his actions were completely leading up to a yes. So that's why I felt so blindsided. Love is blindsided for me. Raven's like the typical girl that I would go after in the real world, like Raven's, she came down, she wore in the tight clothes. I was like, okay, she's a fucking smoke show. She's hot as shit. I was like, okay. We're both like the person that people come to mm -hmm. and we both draw attention. They see Raven, they see me, they say, okay, that's the person I wanna go talk to because they look good. Uh, I think I learned the most watching it back in my, in my direct and my like brutal honesty and kind of insensitivity. So watching it back, I was like very embarrassed and ashamed that, to see myself doing all that. Uh, so I think that's what I learned. Maybe change the communication style when I'm dealing with delivering information to somebody that I care about that might hurt them. For me, when I think about marriage and love and a fiance, it was really giving it my all and trying to give him grace for the mistakes that he had made up to that point um, and allowing him to be who he was, right? The real world compared to the pods, we haven't, we haven't gotten there for me yet. The stuff that we talked about on a daily basis just didn't make sense for me to get here and be like, I wholeheartedly want to make Nancy Rodriguez my wife forever. It's ironic because our relationship through Love is Blind is depicted as a roller coaster, which absolutely it was. And I would say that that's what has continued to be, not romantic wise, like we've gone from being friends to being acquaintances to being completely no communication, back to friends, back to like, okay, what's best for both of us? So we're still in communication. Uh, as where it stands right now, I would, I would call us acquaintances. Um, but you know what, like we went through so much together and like that's just a unique shared experience that we're always gonna have. So I do always want her to be a part of my life. Um, and I hope that she feels the same way. I'm thankful he said no because I wouldn't have wanted a half-assed husband. If he wasn't all in to provide everlasting love, unconditional no matter what, I'm thankful he said no.